My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales and in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, calibrate your heading sensor so it better matches with your course over ground. So what we're going to do is first start off with showing you um, the issue, showing you how to um, really figure out how many degrees you're off and then how to calibrate the compass and then provide an offset so the heading sensor and course over ground are matched. Now heading sensors and course over ground are never going to be 100% spot on but you can get them pretty close so that's what we're going to do in this video. So first things first is it's really important to have your course over ground and heading um, information on the display that will just help you determine um, uh, your offset so first off I want to show you how you can change this data points uh, on this sidebar so first you'll press and hold on the screen and there's these menus that you can that you can scroll through so uh, for this one we want heading uh, the heading is located under vessel vessel and then you scroll down and you want to check this heading box right here. Now, of course, over ground, you're going to be a press and hold until this menu pops up. And then I believe this is going to be under uh, GPS. Let's just see. It is not. So then we're going to go also under vessel. We're looking for course over ground. Okay, course over ground right here. Um, so now we have both course over ground and heading. So as we do this test, it's also critical to understand how we're getting the course over ground um, data. Um, because if you're not in the right environment, then you will be calibrating your heading compass to be offset. Um, and what I mean by that is course over ground is a data point that gets uh, produced through the GPS and what the GPS antenna does is it drops breadcrumbs every few seconds and then it measures from breadcrumb to breadcrumb uh, what that heading is and so you really need you have to be underway if you're not underway then you're uh, not going to get an accurate course over ground and you also when doing this test you have to be in uh, perfectly calm waters you need to have no current or wind adjusting your angle of the boat on the water. In these conditions, as you can see, if you pan around, it is flat calm in here. We're in the Royal River. Uh, there is some current, but we're going either directly with the current or directly against the current. So we're not gonna have any issues with, off with that offsetting our course over ground number. So, but as you can see right here, if you look at the screen, We've got about 118 course over ground and about 126 heading. So our heading is uh, is a little off based off of the course over ground. And so we're going to go ahead and show you on how to fix that. So first things first is determining where this heading information is coming from. We know where the course over ground information is coming from. Um, but to determine where the heading uh, information is coming from, what you do is you go to the main menu. You go to settings and then you scroll down on the sidebar to network. Then with the network, you go to your device list. This device list shows all of the um, different components that uh, the SIMRAD system is reading off of. Um, now we're on Axapar 37 and so what with this Axapar 37 is reading off of a Precision 9 compass. If you're on a 28 Axapar, it's going to be running off of the GS25 compass. Um, but regardless, if you're on an Axapar 28, um, or 37, you click on the compass and um, you'll go to configure. And as you can see, our heading offset right now is at zero. But before we, we introduce a heading offset, what we need to do is uh, we should really recalibrate this compass. Um, it says that the compass is calibrated, but you should really just go ahead and uh, if we're going to spend the time to do it, we should uh, reset it. Now, of course, if you're resetting this, you need to be off of a dock in order to perform a calibration. But what we'll do 
is go to this menu, calibrate, and we need to be uh, turning for 390 degrees at uh, two to three degrees per second uh, turn rate. Now you can see your turn rate right here. So what I like to do is start um, getting in position and once your turn rate gets to that two to three, um, we're not gonna press it quite yet because I need to get it in to position. Um, then we'll go ahead and calibrate it. So I'm pretty close to where I, where I wanna be. I'm gonna be turning left, so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. And it's best to be as precise as possible, but you don't need to go drive yourself crazy being super, super, super precise. So we're gonna stick between this two and three um, degrees per second turn until this is done. So again, we're just continuing this two to three degrees per second. Um, you don't need to go very fast. In fact, I'm going idle forward on one engine, so keeping it really slow and easy and just focusing on this turn rate. Right. Okay, so calibration okay. We've just done our 390 degrees. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is uh, go in a straight line, a straight line to just get a gauge on our offset for course over ground and heading. Okay, so I'm headed straight down river, and as you can see, we're between 11 and 13 degrees off uh, on our heading line versus course over ground. And we wanna get this heading closer to the course over ground because I'm quite certain this course over ground is nearly spot on. Now what we're gonna do is spin around, go up river, and see if we have a similar difference in course over ground versus heading. All right, so now we're going straight up river and we're getting between anywhere from 14 to 16 degrees off um, headed straight up river. So we have a good idea on the offset that we wanna do. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is um, do our heading offset. So in order to do that, we're gonna go to the main menu, the settings button. We're gonna go to network. We're gonna go to our device list. We're gonna find the uh, compass that we're running off of, which is the Compass Precision 9 for this particular boat. And then we're gonna to go to configure, and here is where you can do your heading offset. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try negative 13. Oh, that's negative 130, we don't want that. Zero, one, three. Okay, yes, and now let's go ahead and power up and see how close we are now. So again, it takes a little bit just for the course over ground, you know, and I need to be heading in, a, in an absolutely straight line. But again, you're never gonna be 100% precise with, it, with this, but you can get pretty close. And let's see, I'm going pretty straight right now. We're between one and two degrees, one and three degrees off, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm gonna do a little bit more of a fine tune and see if we can get just a skosh closer. So we've since moved from negative 13 to negative 11 and we're even a little bit more refined now. So we're about a degree or two off. So we're, we're gonna leave it at this and we're happy with, with how this turned out. There we go. Now we're headed up river and just work on heading on a straight line. That's about straight. And so two to three degrees off here. Really happy with the end result on this. I hope you found this video helpful on how to calibrate your heading compass on your Axbar 28 or 37. If you have any questions for us, please feel free to reach out to us at East Coast Yacht Sales using the information below this video. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.